How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Uh. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Hey there, polar bear. You good? Sorry, uh, I was just thinking about how crazy our dive was. Can you believe what we just got to experience? I expected it to be cool, but that was, that was like life-changing cool. What an adventure. I'm glad at least something on this trip will be memorable. Every trip we take together is memorable. You know, you're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. I love you, Alex. You know where everybody is? I'll go get them. Why don't you just chill out here? Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. No, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my lips are sealed. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah, it seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Relax, Brad. How many times do I have to tell you not to be such a wuss? Hey, got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. Hey, well there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? 
Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Uh, maybe I'll stick to H2O. Don't want to push my luck. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. OK, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters, and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. OK, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying engine I was pre Lighthouse, toll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, Splayed out on the floor is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. So gross. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Ah! <laughs> yes. 
so that's gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. I think you told it better last time. But good effort. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh No, 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 because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Didn't you? God damn it. This is all my fault. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. 
Back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. All right. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay. They're coming. to wait and see what they want to do with us. Three, four, five, six. Eight seconds. Storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, he, he's got a gun. 
Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. Well, we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. with this old junker. Mets mon poing dans la gueule. Olsen, come here. Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? Just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian goal. 
They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us up. Yeah, yeah, so. Put a cork in it. How long the storm is gonna last? Will you try anything? Anything fishy? And there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. under the bunk beds. We can't leave him down there. He could drown. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Move. Well, you seem to have already suffered. That was a bold move, not smart. <sighs> Come on.
Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, all that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. 